Okay, my name is Kenneth Okoli. I'm a school actor and an entrepreneur. Um, I started modeling when I was in school. Um, this is like as far back as 2006. So I'm um, there and then that's where I actually got the whole uh, flair for acting because uh, I mean, I did stage like when I was in secondary school, you know. But I did a monologue as part of my talent show, but it installed into the contest. And I got a standing ovation. The rest was history. When I came back to Nigeria, I was like, you know what? I need to give this a try. I was doing a few calls and boom. Actually, the former Mr. Nigeria, 2010. How did that happen for you? So it's it's actually been rosy for you to present with Frank. It's been Kenneth, Kenneth, Kenneth everywhere just after that time. So how did that start? Is it based on the fact that, okay, like you said, from secondary school, you took it, you took that in into moving and all that. So how did you start Nigeria come about? Okay, so the Miss Nigeria group came about when I... Okay, I met um, a lady who was a friend, um, Chichimura, she's a producer. Um, so I came across her and we just kind of linked up uh, business-wise. Because uh, yeah, also it's furniture, so I met her like that's a company back right then, and uh, she was purchase some stuff, and um, yeah, yeah, so kept kept in contact, and after that she was like, okay, I used to model, right? Because we were talking, so like, why did I was in school? I was like, yeah. So she was like, oh, there's Mister Nigeria coming up, so I was contesting it, going to participate. I was like, ah, yeah, sure, why not? You know, what's the whole deal that we're at? You know, she's what like, Silverberg, what Silverberg gets um, perform, and you know. And so I did. They set up a date for the audition. I think it was on the 20th or something. Yeah, I went for it and I got picked. You know, so what I basically did with that was to just, you know, use my whole um, um, skills from most modern, modern days and just like just put everything on for the Nigeria contest and, you know, yeah. push them, push them, push them. You know? And I remember I was like, <laughs> I was like, then it was one million naira and a car. So I mean, working out so close to one with it. So I just keep pushing myself to the extent that, you know, I, I broke down at some point, but I mean, still sprung back up because hey, it's a game, it's a contest, so I just keep pushing. At the end of the day, I came first. That's, that's good, that's good. It's nice, that's awesome. Um, it's also written that you got the um, 50 People Award in 2015. How did you feel about that? Oh yeah, that was good. That was, that was really good. That was great. And that was uh, my first Nollywood award. <laughs> that was, yeah, was, that was, yeah, yeah, I think that was something. Yes, that was actually great for me. You know? So that showed me that, yeah, it was something good in the street. Yeah. yeah. So when I first started, I mean, like, you know, I was a bit rough on the edges. You know, but mm -hmm. the time, the time became better. I was watching my movies, watching the, working with my professionals on sets, you know, kind of helped me. So when I got that, that actually helped me. Oh, that's good. That's good. So, what would you what would you say is the greatest challenge in the process on getting this far? Um, I won't lie to you. Just the challenges, you know. There's many challenges because um, I left no live for for there was the period I left no live for yet, you know, and that was because or oh, two years time actually. Um, the first one was some um, personal issues I had to deal with. And the second was just personal. <laughs> <laughs> family business. I have to like, you know, go back into family business because like I was into family business. I was into business before I was into Nigeria, then business again, then Hollywood. So I had to like, you know, decide. That was like my determining factor, like, okay, what do I want to do? So I used to use a year to determine that. And you no. Know, sorry about that. Ooh. So, yeah. <laughs> that was even Alex, I was calling you right now, Alex, Google. <laughs> so, um, I had to decide within a year. So that was why I left Nollywood for a year and, you know, you know how it is, okay, you have the main guy, reigning guy, the young lead actor who's there, like, you know, six packs guy, and next him, boop, you fall out. So, oh, yeah. so, so fall back in, like, there's different people, like, there are, like, five of you, five different types of you out there now, like, you know, but like doing good things and like you know performing as good as you are and now that's not trying to catch up so it was yeah. it was a it was a hard work for me 
But the good thing was that um, that, that period was when he would be knocking. Um, yeah, there were like some private um, producers who were like you know, individual producers who were actually doing you know, their own thing. You know, where TV not came on board and um, yeah, I knew the um, Mary Jaku who was like, you know, one of um, Jason Jaku's wife. So I used that opportunity to like also um, commit myself. I was like, hey, listen, because she was a friend, she's a friend. You know, I'm like, hey, listen, okay, I um, decided to just you know, face Hollywood full time. You know, every side business. You know, but I say in other words, the side is the forefront. So I'm like, you know what? Everything's made this is right now. So let me just face this one and yeah. face it and do it good. And all the other ones come. I also had to go as well too. But let's just go all in. So that's the problem. But this one here, talk to this one, do this here, cast here, you know, you know. Yeah, that's how it worked. Never turned back since then. Yeah, that's good, that's good. So, um, with your deals with um, Joku and all that, with um, Ariel Paul, was that how the whole band of Lagos came about? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I think she, because she knew our personality. It's funny enough, she actually insists. <laughs> oh my God, we should about how she came up with the story. It was just hilarious. I've uh, mm-hmm. known her for a while, you know, before the Europe TV. Um, so she already knew my personality, and she also like could tell from the other guys too, like how the girls were, like you know, fit into like different personalities and that. And judging from their characters, you could tell. So that's what oh. came about. You know, the mommy's boy. I'm not a mommy's mm-hmm. boy, like, but it's like uh, my mom's just like on my neck. <laughs> 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 so um, you know, like you know, she like obviously you see me, you know, think he's. A player, but he's actually a very cool guy. You know? So he just in that role, so like you know, player, um, Tank Rich, the Rich Tanksley as the French guy, expat, um, Richard Dupata, Agali B, Bobby Obodo, um, what's his name, Tosan or something like that. But yeah, Tosan, I think so. You know, so it was just like you know, a build up of different characters, like you know, that all like merging one together, and it was uh, an amazing display. <laughs> mm-hmm. I must yeah. say that was actually a very good job. It was really, really nice. I watched it over and over. I was like, whoa, this is so. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Thank you. But, um, yeah. So far in the industry, do you have anything on going? Are you into? Are you having? Any- Cooperation with um, any international cooperation to be at the minute, or are you just still playing cool, doing it local and yeah. You know, there's a lot going on now. There's a lot going on. Um, um, yes, trying to make international connects already, which has already been established. Um, so just one or two things still like in the ropes that you know for that before the um, kicks off. And also, um, my team and I, when I say my team, I have like a friend who's the CEO of um, a company we, um, we're about to launch. It's called Playmark. You know, mm-hmm. it's, uh, it's a, a platform that enables Nigerians to stream, that enables anyone to stream movies dataless. You need Wi Fi, you need data. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just get, uh, get the app, by the by. Good. Months of different is just, uh, just that cheap. You know, so anyone could be anywhere with the flight modes on the water, anywhere you are. You know, you can just watch a movie 100%. No buffering, no flickering, nothing. HD quality. You know, so that's what I like, you know, bringing to Nigeria now. And um, yeah, we're making like, you know, some one or two, like, you know, rounds. So this whole co period, once it's done, then fully, well, fully market. It's not. For like you know, wealthy, it's like mostly for grassroots. You know, everyone is going to afford it. Everyone yeah. on the streets to go to everyone has a smartphone, so that's a target to sell to everyone. Oh, oh, yeah, that, that's actually something outside the industry, which is really good. It's a very nice business venture. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. In, the, in the industry, coming out soon as well. Um, Any movie that's at a minute? Oh yeah, no? yeah. Yes, there are a lot of them. A lot of them. Um, so some are already on the Europa TV. Um, some are still on the works you know, to uh, you know come out. So uh, I think there are like five of them coming out very soon. 
So we're doing this uh, COVID period. This really just like kind of slowing things down. So they don't they don't want to put everything out there like that. You know, just like you know, bring all that money together. So at least like keep people entertained, like you know, for the time. So I guess that's just you know the only setback there. Yeah. All right, then. that's good. That's that's nice to hear. Um, one more thing. Let me take you back. Yeah. <laughs> I'll let you do that. That's fine. Okay. So now let's talk about um, what you see. This is 2020. So far. Please, let him 2019 back, please. Yeah! Uh, <laughs> 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 Not time. 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 So, right. okay, let's put 2020 aside because you've been locked in. Um, how would you say has been your greatest achievement since 2006 till date in the industry? My wife and my son. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's so. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. I was actually coming to that, but now, yes, 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 let's go in there. Yeah, let's go in there. That's really a good thing to say. Um, you being married. Yeah, I'm up. You're actually going ahead of me, trying to bring everything out. Yes. Yeah. No way. Next oh. time, I'm supposed to be yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a recent interview um, where in quotes you actually said marriage will not change your husband yeah. was that from you yeah that was me yeah okay so <clears throat> what makes you think marriage cannot change your hot body because i'm a fitness enthusiast and my wife understands that and like me being married will change anything about my fitness uh, mentality you know, rather I rather be more fit in the marriage and get my family be fit than just you know just relax and have like you know, be a hot body diet. You know, so I walk out like you know, um, almost every day. So this whole lockdown, I'm working out. So you know, it's it's something that I believe um, as a man of the house, I also need to like you know make my family understand and also like participate in because it's for our own good, it's for our own health. You know, if you love your body, then take care of your body. That's oh, what it is. Yeah. No, that's good to know. Meaning you are still working out after each Amala and Onubusu or um Sunday Jam and Onubusu. You will still showing off <laughs> Nice, that's good to know. I also saw on your Instagram page with you in the kitchen about like helping out being married. You make it actually so beautiful. I will share the talk, um, question on my Instagram about why is it that some people are so scared to be married and they keep saying bad things. But when I look at your page, most times it's always positive, which is really awesome. So it is actually a great vibe, a good thing to see a man with your popularity, you understand, a man of your caliber, your class, you're in the industry, you're famous and all that, would sit down and say, I'm in the kitchen, I'm doing this, I'm helping my family and all that. It's really nice. I would really like to know, is this what you do at all times, helping out, not just being the man sitting there waiting for her to do everything. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, um, it's a good initiative, right? Because it's from the UN Women. You know, mm -hmm. I've always been um, supportive of you know, women when it comes to um, the upkeep uh, and um, empowerment. Let me say empowerment, not empowerment, and also um, educating men about how to take care of women and also regarding women too. Because, okay, for example, my wife, right? Um, I cook. But I'm not like a good cook, you know. I cook with few things, you know. So even when my wife is cooking, I'm doing the dishes. You know, I'm very domesticated. I'm very, very domesticated. Like you know, from 
I grew up with my parents, boarding school. I used to iron, iron very well. I don't my wife's clothes, so I sweep the house. You know, if my cleaner is not like, you know, available, I sweep, I clean, I mop, you know. This whole lockdown period right now, I've been sweeping, I've been doing everything, you know, the whole house chores and stuff, you know. So, because my, my wife is actually not here, now she's in America, my son, you know, so like this, this is just crazy. So, we have the things wrong. So, it's just um, about men also knowing that it's not them helping out. You know, let me have my wife and my wife and I say that. No, 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 no. It's your duty. It's your home. You understand? If you're a leader of the home, you lead by example, you know, set an example, you know, by doing all these things. So I, nobody has to tell me that, okay, can I sweep this up with do that? No, I do it like once I see that. I was, you know, mm-hmm. I don't have to call my wife and say, hey, you might do that. No, I told you might do it. Because mm-hmm. um, it makes me happy, it makes me comfortable, it makes me like feel like, yeah, responsible. And I keep as a man. Mm. Awesome. That's yeah. nice. That's good to know. So, what would you say about the presence? Um, you said your wife is away, meaning you're alone on lockdown. Yeah, yeah. So, it makes sense. <laughs> I yeah. can't. I- Imagine anyway, I think I should stop laughing. Yes, I can imagine this will be so difficult for you because your family is away and you're just alone. How has it been? The first thing is, dude, I've been back again before, like, you know, by the end of uh, March. So, this whole thing, like, you know, really hit off, but we started the airport, so it should have come. You know, so, it has been tough. But we we'll talk, we talk, we talk every time, all the time, every day. So, all the type and all that, which is um, WhatsApp. I'm forgetting all the pages now. Yeah, WhatsApp calls, <laughs> Skype sometimes, yeah, the calls. Okay. Yeah, so I like staying on phone. What else are you doing? Um, okay, like I said, workouts. Um, I would do like a lot of interviews online, you know, YouTube Live. Um, that's a YouTube Live. Uh, Instagram live, uh, uh, reading scripts, sending scripts, so like, you know, hopefully when this thing goes away, you know, we'll hit it, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, I'm just trying to get enough rest because I haven't been rare. I'm a workaholic when um, it comes to work. I work a lot, so this period has actually been good for me, you know, to rest, relax. Yeah. You know. That's good. Mm, awesome. Um, okay, more stuff's coming. Aside working out, what are your hobbies? Aside acting, going to the gym, or yeah, looking that good. <laughs> so what else? I uh, I love to swim. I enjoy reading. I uh, I love movies. I watch a lot of movies. Yeah, I love food. I love oh. food. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, really, I, 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 I used to have a bad case of, um, uh, what should I call it, uh, CO, is it COD or what's that word against that? Like, I, I hate seeing that. Dirt, yeah, OCD. All right. Oh, okay. I, I, I love cleaning. I love All right. cleaning. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. I just like stuff. I feel like I'm cleaning from just touching anything else. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so well, now I'm going to one of these things. I think my house actually like that. Presently, with the state of lockdown, I think to say about that, you actually think it's the good thing with the leaf. Was it necessary? You know, I I just I just think our leaders are not handling this thing well. They don't handle it the best way at all. Okay, first, put a lockdown. There are no um, measures to take care of the people, you know, especially the lower class. Or uh, any, as in all the people, in fact, you know. But yeah, let's just say, let's just look at the lower class, right? Who um, probably do daily earning, you know. They, what they make, but that's what they eat. You know, these people have not nothing. We have been on lockdown for like almost two months now. We haven't made any measures. So people like us now do like, you know, charitable um, um, things for them and raise food and like give them and everything. And some, I appreciate there are some reacts, uh, some are angry and they toss the food back at us. I don't blame them. I wouldn't blame them because, okay, that's just one meal. That's just one meal. What about 
to them. What about mm-hmm. lunch? Tomorrow's breakfast. You know. So if they put like some like a budget in place for these people, maybe at least go around to uh, those that have accounts. You know, I have BBN in this country. It forces have BBN in this country. So why don't you just credit a BB? Uh, credit credit accounts. You know, at least five thousand naira, six thousand naira, seven thousand naira. You know, they'll manage it. They will manage it at least. You know, for a month. I don't know. That's even too little because of the kind of problems we have and maybe it's all this called billions and trillions. Nine thousand naira is even like it's not the crash me ten thousand naira for these people. You know, but they're not doing anything at all about it. Okay. First week was actually good. Second week was people were already getting comfortable paying now. Okay, fine now they've pulled it off for a week. And the numbers that are still showing us are still rising. They're still rising. So why would you even call it off in the first place? Now I'm going to get now put it back in place again. So what's the point? It's already exposed people. So just stuff. Just exposed more people to it. And I must now lock them down. With the same people that were safe with before, now they're in danger more people. So this numbers will definitely grow times two because I feel like it's a second wave couple, a second wave coming. Yeah. It's, it's coming a little bit worse, you know. And the worst part is that Nigerians don't want to sit still. They just want to go out. They want to just go here, go there, no, what's in the apple, no, I don't catch on. That's not what I'm with, you know. Let's just take measures. The very um uh the very help my um What's that? What's that word? What's that? Uh, let's just be, let's just be safe. You know, yeah. let's think about our neighbors, not just about ourselves. You know, because most people actually being self-centered and selfish and just like do their own thing, and just go out here and there, yeah, blah blah, without masks, no gloves or anything. But you need to like at least have a glove, have a mask on. You know, if even if you don't have this, just protect yourself. You know. So just ridiculous how people actually have the things in this country and the government is also not helping at all. So I don't see, I, I, I wouldn't blame some people actually out because they don't have any money, they need to get food. And most of these malls, you have to like, it's just 10 cent people, 10 in, out, 10 in, 10 out before the next 10 out goes in again. So just ridiculous. I was at ShopRite like a few weeks ago. I stood there for 45 minutes and fucking go in. Like it was burning, it was so hot. I had to just you know, stay in, stand in the queue because uh, you don't want to go down and start from the celebrity for who was happy. <laughs> you know, I had to be in line, you know, two meters away from wherever I was from, mm. at the back, you know, just to be on a safe distance. So it's actually very tough. It's very, very tough for us right now in Nigeria, especially in Lagos, where uh, Lagos, Obu, and Abuja, where, uh, yeah, we go to Abuja, right? Where, who have this lockdown, you know, so it's just really ridiculous. Mm. I must say, I was actually shocked um, hearing about the um, lifting of the lockdown for a week. I was really shocked. And on Monday, seeing all the videos through the Instagram with people in restaurants everywhere, the banks, I was like, my goodness, they are definitely going to bring that with a higher number very, very soon because. It, it wasn't interesting to see anyway, to be frank. I think, well, God keep me Amen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Um, yes, now I'm just going to like um, go back again to you as the uh, actor. Um, in the industry, what would you think about the Nigerian film industry? Do you think um, the actors are getting enough support? No. No. None at all. Yeah. Well, you know, because being an actor in this industry is, um, well, it depends on the production company, but like in general, we're not getting that support at all. You know? Especially when it comes to trying to produce, you know, it's very difficult, you know, because the investors don't really believe in. I mean, if they don't believe in you, that's just it. There's no two ways to it. You know, unless you have your own money and you can be produced for someone before, uh, yeah, that could work for you. But aside from that, it's, it's a tough one. It's a tough cookie. It's a tough one. When they say most actors don't have money, if you don't blame them, because it's what they see jobs that they do. You know? yeah. And so if they pay some actors like some shit, some producers just 
don't try. And so they be like, ah, I beg, I beg, your small job, I beg, small job, please. I already told someone this year, don't call me for any small job. If it's a small job, this is my number. They call me for a reason, right? Say yes. Go oh, on, you are good. Thank you very much. Pay me good money. They pay me. I beg money because I'm not begging you for a job. You are calling for the job. So pay me my money as well. That just it's simple, you know. But most people are already hearing like some people. Producers already putting out also people putting out um, articles about. I don't know if it's the man takes that all oh, uh good the COVID period that um actors fees will be cut short and blah blah blah. I'm like, okay, yeah, that's very interesting. I mean, you guys okay the problem. So if you call me so you you mandate me to receive an X amount of money because the COVID period, right? So what about me that been locked down and have not actually made any money this year and you know that whole stuff. Like if it's not like side business I was doing like everything, how that's mm-hmm. alive. You know, so it's just ridiculous. Can can make that kind of mandate. Like, for that. Even if you don't have the money to like, be actors, just sit down. <laughs> just sit. Sit down. Take a seat. You don't have to be actors. Take a seat. You know, and the other one I heard, uh, uh, someone posted about the same thing that if an actor gets sick on the set, it's on the actor, not on the production. But mm. that's, that's a change in this industry because. They don't insure actors. Right. No insurance. None. You know, I don't know what the agent is doing. I don't know what the ACN is doing. It's just, I don't know, just ridiculous. No, that's not really nice to hear. Frank, it's not nice. Um, um, that brings me to this question. Personally, if you had something to change that you think you need to change in the industry if you had the opportunity to or you and also let's just use this media right now to pass maybe some advice or something to say that needs to be done to change the way um the industry is being um organized handled and controlled what kind of support do you think you need right now or what do you think needs Change. Are there, uh, I'll just be honest with you, like, no matter what I say right now, it will change anything in this industry. <laughs> this is Nigeria. <laughs> Tough cookie. <laughs> Tough cookie. <laughs> like, mm, that, that one. You're saying this one. I'm saying. I said, you don't enjoy it. You said, you know, it's after that one. I mean, we've sat down, we've talked about this thing going around the table, but we have some actors, we have some reviewers who are like, sort of like minds, but. Seriously? So, okay. The, the, best, the, best, the best we could just do is just um, make things better, create more, create better content. You know, if you have the chance to actually become um, a better producer who has like more prospects, more opportunities, more chances, more um, financial support, let's say, for example, like in Mabudu, everybody like, you know, if I have like three Mabudus in this, this industry. I think we will sit up. We'll sit up. Mm. Definitely sit up. You know, but you know, most people like, you know, pay their month team on there to do a movie and everything. They cut it to like four. And at the end of the day, it was like you know, the shitty movies. But you know, what do I have? <laughs> but still, I think I'm still gonna insist. You never can tell really. Maybe this video might touch somebody at the right time. And then it says, mm, Kenneth actually said this. I think we should really look into it. Don't give up. You still need to keep trying because you're actually in the industry. Just keep airing your views, sharing what you feel actually needs to be done. Something that can benefit everyone, obviously, not benefiting only you. The truth is, if, if um, our bodies were really passionate about our industry, about this industry and themselves, we would have gone further than we are now. We control an amount of finance by now. You know, we'll be our own a, 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 a distinctive sector of the Nigerian economy. You know, but that's not so because 
But I think most people they actually put there just you know all the title. Because we love that we love we are so entitled in Nigeria that's one thing. We're so entitled. You know. We have had a body that actually governs our activities, our pay, um, the actors, um, the productions, um how should I put it? requirements like how sets going to be it needs to like um there's a standard for every production standard fee for every actor assigned to this agency or to this um, body the standard level of equipment they're going to use for this production you know if everything was that organized we had standards for everything it would actually work out properly you know people who are not even up to that standard would be forced to meet up People are not organized enough, forced to meet up. People who don't have that um, technical know how will be forced to meet up, not just go plug one direct from somewhere, oh, he did this job, or plug this one from this way, oh, he did that job because he was a person. And you match them together and expect masterpiece. No, he needs to look for a director of action who has directed a masterpiece job before and get them a set that he actually wants to make a masterpiece, make it talk to a masterpiece. So, you just walk in here and here and here and here and here because your budget's not up to my and stuff like that. And I'm putting this together and I bring these one or two actors as not the movie sell. That meant that, that narrative of like, oh, there's a change. Because if, let's say, for example, we have about, we have about, we have about 2,000 actors in Nigeria, no more. Now, like, you, everyone wants to be an actor, everyone wants to be an actor. So, what chance do they have? What chance do they have in an industry that else wants to use selling face, selling faces? They have zero options because this one's, they just end up being extras, 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 extras. Until there's nothing left, you know. Well, with this people in this consideration, that's okay. Let, let me pay you with this person or you guys audition. That's what the audition. The audition there with another actor. I'm sure, this most of this movies would actually knock off an illustrator. Because of performance, you'd be surprised. You know? But I get what most of them are actually doing for the for Nigerian markets. You are not used to new things. Most like I tend to do the with the old the old ones we're actually used to. You know, that whole fear of the unknown no one's just persecuting us as well. You know. So I feel like this is just more of this new face that give them like the opportunity to actually perform on the live stage, lead, or if not the lead, sub lead at least. Let them be known, you know, just keep bringing them in, keep bringing them in. You see there will be more flavor to the, uh, to the movies and, you know, more opportunities for that. That's just what I feel. Okay, that's deep, that's deep. Thank you so much for that. that. That was really awesome. Um, before I let you go, so I don't keep you for so long here, okay? Mm. Um, what advice would you give out to your fans, people that want to be like you, know, most of them? Um, what advice have you given them? What do you want to tell them that has really worked for you in the past years? Um. Okay, my advice to upcoming actors and um, those who uh, look up to me, I'd say just, you know, there's a time I could describe everything. If you wanted that bad, make out time for it. Yeah, okay. Make out time for it. Be intentional about it. If you want to get this, push. Don't let know where you did from. From the no, you have to get a yes. Because once you make up your mind that okay, this guy will tell you no. Mm. Just there. But if you believe that, even that no, even in the midst of the no, you still have faith that you to get a yes. Then you're you're just something good. Just keep pushing. Don't even let anyone um, turn you uh I should I put it? Don't let anyone discourage you. Because you want to see hunger in you, you want to see how determined you are, you want to see how prepared you are. Then you're you're on your way. That's the truth. You know. For me, I made out time. I put in the time to get to where I am today. I was dedicated. I pushed myself 
some some days like I, I slept on sets, you know. I wouldn't say yeah, I did three jobs, but I did favors, yes, you know. But that was getting me to where I wanted to be. You know, there are times when I took like cheap jobs, you know, cheap jobs, cheap jobs. But like my whole idea was just get as much jobs out there, you know, so I can have enough screen time, screen time for myself, for my face in there. You know, that's when the whole Eoko TV was like, you know, popping up and everything. I can't ask, I'm like, Eoko, now I'm only the office to see, you know, kind of thing, you know. And it actually kind of worked, you know, because that was me just trying to use that to like market myself. But then, you know, I was like, yeah, thanks. This is what I've done, just favors, right? Now let's get down to business. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, and I have to like, it's also about being professional. So you have to be professional about it. It's not like, you know, get cocky or get arrogant or get aggressive when they try to correct you. You know, yeah, some people want to step on the top. Some people want to, like, you know, bring it down. But, like, how you handle it also determines what comes out at the end of the day. You also come, uh, confirms your next job, but the your next job, you know, because some people actually just want to be on, get on your neck and just, you know, press, 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 press to see if you react. But if you don't react, it's fine. If you handle it professionally, it's okay. But just to get something that's circle of people that actually get you there, you know, that's best at least for not to be able to control the crowd, control space, control where you are. That helps you hmm. Awesome. Great words. Thank you very, very much for that. We really appreciate the fact that you've got the time to come for this interview. It's yeah. been awesome. We enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Thank and you very much. Yeah, the invitation is coming very soon for you to visit my house. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you so much, and I really appreciate it. Okay.